McLeod, aka Dr. Z with One Love Network, and I'm here with Pastor McLeod and Mother McLeod, and they are celebrating 50 years of marriage. Woohoo! Awesome! And at this point in time, we're going to have the word read by Sister Kareem Jackson. Reading in your hearing, Proverbs, the 18th chapter, and the 22nd verse, it reads, Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing, a good thing. and obtaineth favor of the Lord. And obtaineth favor from the Lord. And at this point in time, Pastor McLeod, so where were you originally from? McGee, Mississippi. McGee, Mississippi. And your, your mother and father, their names? Holly, McLeod, and Lily, McLeod. Two very special people. Thank God for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how about you, Mother McLeod? My father, I'm from Prentice, Mississippi. And my father's name is Haven Butler. And my mother's name is Della Beatrice Roberts. Is that right? Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> How many siblings do you have, Pastor? For my family? Yes. I have four of us. Four. The eldest was Alice, correct? Alice. Holly May. Holly May. And then came you. Me. Number three, and then there's Aunt Jane, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here we go, Mother McLeod. You've got so many. This amount about what? Sixteen? Sixteen brothers and sisters. And twenty-five were actually born, correct? And a three. Twenty-three. Yeah. Ooh. And you think of that. Twenty-three <laughs> times. <laughs> Ooh. That is lovely. Mm -hmm. So with that, after you left Mississippi, you both decided to leave Mississippi and, and head out to Oakland, California. Is that right? However, you had a few other stops prior to that. Is that correct? No. No, you, you came straight, straight from straight Mississippi? From, uh, McGee, Mississippi to uh, Oakland, California. No kidding. 1952. Ooh, 1952. Of course, 1952. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And how about you, Mother McLeod? I came from Jackson, Mississippi, to Oakland, California, in 1958. Well, this is your brother who sent for you, was it Haven? Yes, Haven. <laughs> <laughs> and you already had a few brothers here, was it uh, Ellis and John? Yes. No, they were here. Yeah. So you came and you already had family here. However, the past week, you were here all by yourself. Oh, wait a minute. Cousin Johnny was here, right? You're right. We came out here together. Cousin Johnny oh. and I came out here together. That's true. And he had... Uh, uh, relatives out here, so uh, they accepted us in their home. Wonderful. And uh, gave us a good start. So God was in the works from the start. From the start. <laughs> so then when you came out to Oakland, California, you were seeking for the Holy Ghost, correct? Yes, I was. Yes. And where did that might happen? Was it German Chapel? Germany Chapel. Market <laughs> 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 Street. Oakland, California. That was the Holy Ghost spot, right? Yes, it was. They prayed you through until you got the Holy Ghost. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Four nights on the altar. Oh, my goodness. On a Friday the night, January the 28th, 1955. Oh, that's wow. lovely. That's lovely. So where did you meet this nice, pretty woman here? At Germany Chapel. She oh uh, my goodness! Visit my church. On <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, of course, and uh, after service, uh, I was introduced to her, and uh, I knew from that moment that I had found the person I had been praying for for many years. That's a good one. Wonderful. I've heard you say many times over the pulpit that 
you prayed for a wife as though you were praying for the Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah. And that's very important in this day and time yeah. that individuals should seek God first in, in, in everything that they do. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and you two are a very wonderful example of that. Mm-hmm. And so let me ask you this question. Okay, you met, and this was the one of your dreams that you had prayed for. How long was it after that that you got married? About a year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're it's engaged year, about a year. year. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. And I guarantee you always opened the door for her, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Always a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. See, we don't find gentlemen these days. They allow <laughs> the woman to open the door for themselves. Mm-hmm. However, we have a true example of a good man who prayed for a great woman. And here they sit today. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Now, how many children do you have? Six. Six? That's a good number. <laughs> three boys and three girls. Get out of here. Three boys. boys. Three girls. That's, That's what it. I wanted. I, I wanted uh, uh, a large family. Mm-hmm. I wanted three boys and three girls. And the Lord mm-hmm. gave me. Three boys and three girls. That's mm-hmm. wonderful. Yeah. And then you instill within them what you were taught. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. And mom is always the mother and, and the wife would make sure that you had breakfast cooked in the morning before you went mm-hmm. to work mm-hmm. and your lunch. And one thing oh, I made yeah. about you, Dad, mm-hmm. in the summer, at times, you know, because we were, when we were in school, we weren't there when you would call home at lunchtime. Like clockwork, you would call mom around lunch to see how she was doing. I thought that was so wonderful to check on mom and the children when you got a break during the day. Mm-hmm. And that right there is one thing that helped that 50 years to come about because of the communication and the love mm-hmm. that you showed to not only your wife, but to your children mm-hmm. and to your church family and to your friends and family at all that. And that's a wonderful trait to have. Mm-hmm. Yes, wonderful mm-hmm. trait to have. Mm-hmm. And I thank God that I'm I'm number five. And uh, I have a great example to look forward to in regards to relationship. And first of all, God. To have God in our lives. First and foremost. And to have love within our lives. Mm-hmm. And with that, meditation prayer, love, we can make this for you. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. It's, not, it's really? not easy, but with it's possible. God. With God. With God, it's possible. Yes, there it is. There it is. The three of you can do anything. That's right. That's three. That's right. And so what are the three? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps it up. So with Bess, you know, we have a celebration of 50 years, 50 years with Pastor and Mother McLeod. And we're all here to celebrate and thank God for this wonderful couple.